we're back with another video. This is going to be a llama arts video, and you guys don't even know, I love llama arts. I love it. I love it. This is almost 13 minutes long. This is going to be the best 13 minutes of my life. I can probably guarantee, guarantee that, because llama arts is amazing. I love him, her. I love it. That's all i got to say. I love it. So the title of this video is called Midnight Horror Story Animated by Llama Arts. Um, let's get right into this video. This should be exciting. And not, and not many, I don't really have any horror stories waiting to midnight, but... I'm not making this video for attention, or sympathy, or anything. I just want anyone who can help me to do that. My name's Daniel, and this is a story I wish I didn't have to tell. Okay. I've been a night owl my entire life. As a teen, I used to stay up way past midnight every night, watching terrifying videos on YouTube. I know now they were nothing compared to the horrors of the real world. Nothing compared to the tragedy my family and I went through. The story I'm going to tell to you now. My parents, being teachers, had always emphasized the importance of sleeping well to me and would definitely disapprove of my late night routine. So I knew that if they'd caught me up at that time, I'd be in big trouble. At first, this wasn't a problem. But after I told them about a child predator in our neighborhood that I'd seen in one of my videos, they seemed to grow more and more paranoid, which was obviously understandable. Every night I'd hear one of them wandering into my room, checking on me, and every night I'd immediately turn off my light and pretend to be asleep. I never knew for sure if it was my mom or dad coming in, since obviously if I opened my eyes to see, they'd know I was awake. Okay, why is her curtain open? Mostly, I presumed it was why my is her curtain open? the heavy sounding footsteps, but either way, I found it pretty hypocritical for them to preach to me about being up late when they were awake themselves. Well, they're adults though. Sometimes I wondered if they knew I wasn't sleeping, because That's... often it was only after what seemed like hours before they'd finally leave. It's not, it's not your Belgium. parents, it's the predator. It's my little brother. Lucy, my little sister. It's the predator. I'd have asked them about it, but I thought it would have confirmed any suspicions which they seemed to already have about my staying awake deep into the mornings of the next day. Like I said, I guess they were just paranoid about the child predator. No, that was a child stupid, predator. Stupid, stupid for me to presume any of these things, and I'll never forgive myself for it, but I did it all the same. Anyway, you one had a little day, sister named Lucy. Lucy school, where my parents both work, announced a school trip. It meant they'd be gone at some point next month from Saturday morning to Sunday morning, and it meant that I'd finally get to watch the horror movie my friend had lent me, that my parents had refused to let me watch. Hmm, Mr. Howell, you There was one downside, though. I'd be left to look after Alfie. He, being only six years old, mm. my mom was reluctant to leave him in my care alone. So you have a six-year-old my brother dad and, and a younger me, sister? Reminding her that Alfie had been up most of the night after a nightmare, so he'd probably sleep most of the day anyway. Mm. Besides, he reassured her, he's 17 and he could be given a little responsibility. He, he's 17? With a heavy heart, my mom agreed. I honestly wish she hadn't. Finally, the morning came for them to head off. It took longer than expected because my sister said some of her favorite toy dolls had been stolen. But eventually, my mom persuaded her that they were probably just lost. No, nope, told the top part of her has them. They were gone. Yeah, I the agreed, them. Is, that, they is were that the predator right there? As they were leaving, I, my I, mom I gave me a stern word, reminding me to lock the doors, not go to bed too late, and take good care of Alfie. She told me she'd be watching through the security cameras to make sure I was looking after him properly. I told her she really didn't have to worry. Then we said our goodbyes, and they were off. Alfie and I spent most of the day playing outside, but came in after the frisbee landed near a strange man who Alfie said had been in his nightmare. It's the predator. I told him that that was ridiculous, because even if he somehow was in his dream, he wouldn't be able to remember. No, you would. Anyway, it just depends on when you wake up and you sleep. To get it. I have to admit that the man was fairly creepy. He had He's a huge grin, right and his eyes, staring right at me, seemed to be permanently forced further open than they were designed to go. His clothes all seemed to have been made from someone 50 years younger, as they struggled to cling to his Wait, fully what? grown body. Wait, there's his smile. Is that a smile? 
was cold, no. but he was wearing a sun hat, a tiny one for children, which barely fit on his head. Yeah, he stole I it. recognized it, but didn't know how at the time. It, it's the Predator. If I'd learned anything from the videos I spent my nights watching, I'd have abandoned the frisbee and left. But clearly I didn't, because not wanting to feel like a baby, mm. I approached him. As I got closer to the man, his smile disappeared, and he removed the hat and held it behind his back. I've just been trying to saw see it. his features in greater detail. He looked tired. He was pale, and his eyes were bloodshot. His hair was sus. Huge gaping bags under them. In the entire time it took me to get to him, the man didn't move an inch, other than the odd blink. Not even his eyes shifted. What? At this stage, I was getting uneasy. I just wanted to get it. Oh, now you're uneasy. Hi, can I have my frisbee back, please? Thanks. The thought of that conversation, if you can even call it a conversation, still makes me shiver. I locked the front door as soon as we got home. We were both a bit shaken, and Alfie looked tired, so I gave him some more food and put him to bed. It took him about two hours to fall asleep. Two hours. He kept complaining that he'd have another nightmare about that man. I told him he would, but he wasn't convinced. Mm. I see him every night. He whispered to me. Mm. Well, if you see him again... Well, the curtain's fucking open. I wonder why you see him. He's, he's probably in your fucking window. This seemed to settle him down, and soon he was fast asleep. At about 11, it was time to put my film on. I couldn't have my mom knowing that I was watching it, so I did something naive and ignorant. Something I'll always regret. You covered the camera? I turned off the security cameras. I watched it for two hours straight, my eyes never straying from the screen. Wow. Until... I replayed the last few seconds of the film. Oh, to see if it's part of the movie. I did too. But the sound didn't happen again. It was coming from inside my house. Alfie? He didn't reply, but I could see him under the cover, so I thought he was just... No, it's not him. The window's open. Someone stole him. him I swear, if I thought anything worse had happened, I'd have checked. You check either way. You're right there. Just look more into the room. Okay? I thought maybe I was just worrying too much. Oh my god, this guy. It was late, the film had been scary. Maybe it was just all in my head. You see the window open, the curtain's flying open, and then there's like, oh, yeah, that's normal. Like, that I was obviously a setup. The sound of his voice, it was him. Alfie! Alfie? Usually this much noise would have woken him up. Alfie, what's going He's on? He's not there. I knew something was wrong. It was him. The doll. I couldn't believe it. It had to be some kind of sick prank. It had to be. But it wasn't. Your brother's gone. It was the man I'd spoken to earlier. He'd taken my brother. Go outside and get him. Hurry up. Oh Alfie! my god. I was certain they'd be gone before I could reach them. But he didn't set off straight away. He watched as I tried helplessly to do something. Oh my god. I screamed and I shouted and I banged on the windows and I tried to open the doors, but nothing worked. Oh my so god. Was, there was nothing I could do for my brother, my best friend, as he was stolen away from me. It was too late for the police to do anything. It was too late for anybody to do anything he was gone and in time i'd have to come to accept that nine new message tab, nine new it's messages. probably your mom because the camera's message. are off hello if you're out with alfie call me back when you get back in please love you guys bye end of message second message daniel we've been trying to get a hold of you for hours is everything all right? Did you turn the security cameras off? They'll be fine. The security system probably just glitched out. 
Hey, Alfie, just call us as soon as you can, okay? You know how mom worries. End of message. Third message. Listen, Daniel, we're starting to get really worried now. If you don't pick up, one of us is going to have to come home to check if everything's okay. Please pick up. End of message. Fourth me Daniel, are you okay? Daniel! What's happened? Please answer! I couldn't bear to tell them anything. That was seven years ago. We never found him. When I asked my parents if they'd seen anything at all of this man whilst they checked on us during the night, and they looked at me, concerned and confused. What do you mean? They asked. I could only stare at them in horror. Every night, around two, he'd come and check on Alfie, Lucy, and me to see if we were sleeping. Daniel? That wasn't new. That wasn't them. No, we didn't. Told you. The police wanted security camera footage of the man, but of course, there wasn't any. It automatically deletes any footage older than 24 hours, which meant I'd been mindless enough to stop it recording on the only night we could have seen him. You know, the strange thing is, I don't even know if I want Alfie to be alive. Because if he is, God knows what that monster has done to him. Sorry if I've gone on too long, but the guilt's been killing me. I had to get it out somehow. I only tell it as a story because, well, people like stories and I want as many people to hear this as possible. Alfie, if somehow you're watching, I love you and I'm so, so sorry. Please don't lose hope. And to the man who took you, it's not too late. If you have any heart at all, and even if you don't, please, please let my little brother come home. To everybody else, if someone comes into your bedroom at night, open your eyes. You never know who it might be. I still stay up late at night. It's not because I don't want to sleep. It's because I can't. In case anyone sees Alfie, this is the last good photo we took of him. That's it. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the- Oh my god. Okay. I really hope that was fake. It does not say it's true at all, by any means. So I really hope, hope this is fake, because, oh my god, that was really depressing. That was on, on, honestly really sad. <sighs> I mean, again, as in every horror story, there's always people that have, have something up. Number one, your curtains are open. What the fuck's that gonna do? Number two, obviously your window is open, because he easily opened the window and then came on right through. Not only that, you didn't open your eyes to, uh, to check when your parents checked up on you in the middle of the night to make sure you're a sleeper, okay? That wasn't you, but I told you it was a fucking predator. Anybody could have figured that shit out. So that's already three th things you fucked up on. Number four is a huge thing. You turned off the security cameras. You don't do that. I don't care if you're watching a show or a movie or whatever what the fuck you're doing. You're 17 anyway. I'm pretty sure you're 17. Like, you're, like, what, like what the fuck are you going to do? Like, what the fuck are your parents going to do? Like, you're just watching a movie. I get it, you're not allowed to watch it, but you're 17, you're almost an adult, like, why can't you, like, and you watch what you want, like, I don't, uh, unless I got his age wrong, but I'm pretty sure he said he was 17, so, I don't understand. I'm really sad that that, 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 that happened, though, like, that's, uh, that's honestly really depressing, and I still can't believe that he opened, like, oh yeah, and then another big thing is he, like, he just opened the door, he sees the window wide open, the curtain wide open, which was already open in the first place, but should have been closed, like any normal person would, you know, like, hello, closed. It's just a sm smidge open, just let some, you know, wh wh whatever in here. But to be fair, it is 12.36. It's not freaking 12.36 a.m., it's 12.36 p.m., you know? Like a normal person, I have the windows closed. Even during during the day, I do. 
Oh my lord. A lot of red flags. A lot of things you did to fuck up, and they happened, and I don't know what to say now. Like, your brother did not deserve that. I'm really sad if that, like, that's honestly really depressing. I'm just really hope hoping this is not a real story. Because if it is, I do not want to hear any, any more of it. I mean, I just don't. I cannot. Like, it's, it, it's obviously over now, but you know what I mean? Like, I just can't. <sighs> Stay safe, guys. Be sure to be aware of what's going on in your house. Be aware and stay safe. Make sure that you know what's going on. Close your windows. Close your curtains. Install curtains if you don't have them. Make sure you lock your doors. Make sure you do all this simple stuff. I, I shouldn't even have to tell you this. You should already know this, but some people, common sense is not a thing, so. Gotta let you guys know if you're watching this video, so be careful. Do not want anything to happen to you guys, no matter how, how old you are. So be safe and stay aware. Because there are pe people that come after, you know, obviously kids and all that. And, like, you gotta be careful. You gotta be aware of, like, like you just gotta not even be aware. That's like, all you gotta do, to be honest. Like, you just gotta be aware of what's going on. You have to make sure that... You just gotta make sure that you're, you're, you're paying attention to what's, like, your, your surroundings. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to comment down below what you guys saw this video. If you have anything thing to say, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions, be sure to message me on Instagram and let me know. Or even if you just want to hit me up and talk shit about people in these videos, go ahead. I will respond back to you eventually. And that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.